Hey guys, it's Ramon from Eclectic Emissary. We are back in Nuremberg. So it's been about five years, so I'm super excited to be back in the city and exploring it again. So we're gonna show you the top things to do in Nuremberg while you're here. It's a small city, got a medieval feel to it and the more traditional German sense. So I'm super excited. Let's get right into it. Now we are in Hauptmarkt, which is the central market in this huge square where you can see the church behind us, the Schonenbrunnen right behind us. It's so cool. They have so many authentic handmade gifts to buy. So we're gonna buy some awesome souvenirs. So let's check it out. Hey, and that is the famous Schönenbrücke right behind us, which is the beautiful fountain. Yeah, and it's super awesome. They have these two rings on each side. One is for good luck and one is for fertility. So spin them at your own risk. <laughs> so we're exploring Nuremberg and it is such a really cool town, man. Like the medieval feel of everything and just so much history, both old and new, like even from the Nazi era. So it's definitely an area that you want to check out. Okay, right behind us is St. Sebald's Church. So that's another one of the main churches here in Nuremberg. So definitely uh, check it out. There's some cool history and lots of stuff going on there. So you can even go inside for free. Check it out. All right, so if you walk a little bit uphill from downtown, you can see it down there. This is Nuremberg Castle. So it's a big fortress with walls that stretch around the city. It's super cool. Just uh, get prepared to walk up a hill a little bit. And uh, yeah, check out some cool medieval castles. Okay, so we are at the top of Nuremberg Castle and this is exactly what I think about when I see, think of Germany, like it's so insane, all the cool classic buildings, the little tower. So fun fact, Nuremberg's actually in Franconia, which is part of Bavaria, but at one point it wasn't. So that's why if you see any white and red flags, it's Franconia's flag. So yeah, cool tidbit. Okay, right behind me is the Albrecht Ducha house. So it's a famous uh, artist from ancient Ger like old Germany. So definitely check out his house. It's also a museum. So it'd be pretty cool to check out. We're on this uh, famous little street called Weissgerbergasse, which just looks super old and vintage. So it is a nice little street. So if you're down here in the downtown area, come check it out. So Nuremberg is an amazing city. It is insane how 90% of this city was destroyed actually during the World War II. So a lot of it is just rebuilt. So it's impressive how they got everything so close to the original style. So that is super cool. It actually reminds me a lot of uh, 
Lyon, which we did explore and went on a food tour, which was pretty awesome. So, yeah, Nuremberg, totally chill, different vibe than uh, Berlin, but you gotta check it out if you want to see more traditional side of Germany. We got a Franconian special Dreimwekla, which is just three bratwurst sausages in a little bun. So it's awesome. Let's dig in. Is it good with mustard? Mmm. So good. All right, just made it to Document Center, Center for the Nazi um, Party, and it's this insane museum. So we're gonna go inside, check it out, learn tons of history. Let's go. And there you have it, the top things to do in Nuremberg. It is an awesome city, definitely a lot smaller than like Munich or Berlin, but it has a super traditional feel and you really can tell like you're in the old school kind of uh, German style. Technically it's Franconia, but it's also part of Bavaria, so there's gonna be tons of traditional German food to try, German architecture. It's just a great place overall. There's so much history here, tons of museums, so really a lot of stuff to do here. Uh, especially if you're interested in history, so I recommend coming. Anyway, we're heading to the next city, so hope you guys enjoy. Tell me what you're most excited about seeing in Nuremberg, or if you even want to visit. So uh, yeah, on to the next city, and I'll see you guys there.